Well, it is not what was stolen out of a Nashville woman's car. It's what the burglars might do with it after three men made off with her car registration. Most of us keep our registration in our glove box, right? As News Force Rebecca Cardenas tells us, you may want to rethink where you store it. A cybersecurity expert says you should avoid keeping any personal information inside your car, including your registration and mail, to avoid becoming a victim of identity theft. When Emily Peterson walked out of work to find her car window smashed in, all that was missing was a pocket knife and a piece of paper. I thought it was really weird. The burglars took her car registration, complete with her title number, VIN number, name, and home address. Oh my God, they have my information. Identity theft was the first thing that came to my mind. Peterson was one of three women that October morning whose registration was targeted in an East Nashville parking garage. I think it's sad. Uh, I grew up here. I was born and raised here, and I've never seen really any violence in Nashville before. It's the kind of crime a cybersecurity expert says could make you a target of more crime, like identity theft or even a home invasion. He advises you keep your registration in your wallet instead of your glove box and to never leave your wallet in the car. I'm just keeping my registration in my purse wherever I go. So yeah. instead of in your car? Yeah, instead of in my car. But it definitely made me realize that I needed to be safer wherever I was going. Police say surveillance footage did capture three men fleeing in a burnt orange Toyota Corolla. No arrests have been made at this time. In Nashville, I'm Rebecca Cardenas, News 4.